see what color we have left over from our uh, table pours. Use one of those. Let's use that. And this is going to be our base layer. Good to me. Let's go with the blue. And a cashew. These are all leftover paint from a canvas that I did a couple of days ago. And I had some left over, so I'm gonna finish them off. Today, we're gonna try a method that I've never tried before. We're gonna take a funnel, pour paint into it, into the dustpan. Then we're gonna let it all drip out, take away the funnel, and then take the dustpan and pour over the canvas. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but I'm really excited to try it. So let's get to painting. I've already got all of my paints mixed and ready to go. I've got a neon orange, neon green, the base color, which is uh, kind of an off purple, blue, cashew, white, and black. Let's get to it. I'm gonna set all my paints to the side, lined up, ready to use. All right, so what we're gonna do first is take our base paint Pour it onto the canvas. And cover the whole thing. Use a palette knife or anything to um, spread the paint around. Let's start out with a white and black base. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna seep out on its own as we go. So now we have now we have our funnel full of paint. Let's open it up a little bit. You don't want to let it go too fast because then it's all going to really mix together and you don't want that kind of mixture with all of this paint in there. You want it to come out as you put it in basically. And I still have paint left over. I was really thinking I was gonna use all of it. All right, I think we have let it sit long enough, so I'm not gonna to try to do any designs on this. All I'm doing is pouring it straight, straight down the middle. Here. Let it 
current trip out. So far, this is looking awesome. I'm gonna give it a little more fire while it sits and settles for a second. All right, so I think I want to stretch it this way and then we'll go for the corners. So now let's evenly get the paint across the canvas. I don't think I want to tilt any off quite yet. I really just want to cover the canvas. Up. Oh, too late. It's falling off anyways. I'm going to go for it. I was not planning on it, but it was just kind of happening, so I, I let it happen. It's probably what's going to happen on this side too. Look at that. That orange and blue are looking fantastic together. balance this out a little bit. I'm going to lose uh, a decent amount of this. Those cells are looking really nice down there. Let's tilt her. Yeah. I still have this top corner I need to do. You can see the little design I did with my finger while it was in the uh, dustpan. I'm actually going to give it I'm gonna give it some paint to play with down here so it, it flows off the canvas a lot better. We're gonna take some of this paint. This is all gonna come off the canvas. But what it's gonna do is allow the paint to flow a lot easier. I don't know, that corner actually looks really cool with that paint on it. Pull it back. Now let's go the other way to balance it back out. Slow and steady. So now what we want to do is make sure all of our edges are covered with paint. There are some of these edges that have white spots showing still, but you want to make sure to cover that all up because you don't want it dry in that way. So let's check out our edges. I got one right here I already know about, and there's a little bit here. So let's touch that up. Move you out of the way. What you want to do is try to find the color that matches where you're touching up, but sometimes you can't, and it's hard to notice because the paint is still going to drip but you really just want to make sure to get the, the little crevices taken care of. Yeah. And check your, check your edges right here as well. Make sure all of the sides, long and short, got paint on them. the beauty. Next what I want to do is take the canvas, try not to tilt it too much because you don't want to mess up your design, but you want to take your fingers along the bottom of it. Just try not to ruin your design while you're at it. All right, let's get this paint back into a cup. I can actually actually use this cup, the one I poured it from. Scrape the table like this with my uh, uh, spatula. Probably end up using this for the base of my next painting. 